Hunting the Hound here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here with our good friend at WWFC, not the actual camp yet, just the location, with my friend Al Cabone. How you doing? The dog father. And while we're out here waiting for everybody else to show up, we're going to have a little bit of story time. Story time. Okay. Yeah, story time. I work at a very nice place that's very accepting of gays, transgender, Muslims, everything. So this is, not many people in my work know about this, but it's probably more or less would be accepted, you know. So are you a closet fur? At work, yes. <laughs> I think most people are closet furs at work unless your job is being a furry. Um, so, you know, my new, but we got a new boss and he says, well, I want to do some videos for the company since obviously I do YouTube. And he says, how do you feel about costumes? And I'm like, well, hold on, l let me show you some things. And I showed him, I showed him Hood and the Hound and he was ecstatic about it. We got some cars driving by, so give me a second. Um, is it one of us? I believe so. So, my boss says, I ran into some of your friends. And what he said, are you thinking? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a furry. I, I, I saw a bug. <laughs> so my friend, so my boss says he ran into some of my friends and he, he said, can I talk with you privately? I'm like, oh God, what is this? He heard a horn honking in his yard, in his cul-de-sac a couple nights ago. And, and the first time he just ignored it and he didn't, didn't pay attention to it. The second time it happened, he got his shirt on, got his clothes on, um, went out to see what the noise was. And he brought a bright light and he shined the light in on the car and it was two people um, yiffing. And apparently the girls, uh, the girls, butt was hitting the horn so that's why that was happening so you think the first time that you hit the horn in the middle of a neighborhood at three in the morning that you would stop doing that um, but what got worse was he says in the back seat when he shined his light into the car was a multicolored cat fursuit oh my god and he's and he tried to describe it the best you, he could and and, and and he's in, he's, he doesn't live in Columbus, he lives around Columbus. But I, I went to my Telegram chat, I'm like, who is this? And nobody fessed up, so... It was a guy and a girl, younger, and one of them had a cat fursuit. You know who you are. You know what you did. He didn't care that you did that. He just cared that you were honking the horn and waking him up, so... So that's why I called this video, Get Out of My Neighbor's Park... I uh, no, what did I call it? I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. I'll cut that part out, fuck it. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to name it right now in the video. It's canon. Nope, fuck it. <laughs> I fucked up. So, so uh, what would you do if you found some kids yipping in your uh, cul-de-sac? Well, this brings me back to a uh, job in security since that's, that's great. my profession. That's great. <laughs> I was working at Northgate Mall, and it was about 2 a.m. And although this has nothing to do with furries, but there was a car by itself, in the lot, lights were out, and I went to check up on it, and I saw nothing but a bare butt in the driver's seat, bouncing up and down, <laughs> touching the YouTube, glass. YouTube, YouTube, <laughs> Children, children, stop. Okay. So I shine the light, it does not quit. Mm. I honk the horn, it does not quit. I turn on those annoying yellow Woo siren lights. The butt stops. The butt stops here. <laughs> and I pulled up to them, they're covered up. Oh, we're sorry. I'm like, yeah, finish up and leave, please. Oh, okay, thanks. So they went back to what they were doing. <laughs> <laughs> if your kids, if you're going to yiff, do it at a convention. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> do an Anthrocon. Do an Anthrocon. <laughs> That's when everybody else is. So looks like a bunch of people pulling up. So thank you guys and have a good day.